Well, I said I would not start from the car again, and I am, but I am dressed and done for the day. Look at my cute hair. I got up and I got my hair straightened, put makeup on, even though it's going to be like mm, upper 80s today. And we have a heat wave coming through upper 90s the rest of this week. So that's going to be nice. We're trying to cool off our house right now after not having the AC on in there for a whole week. But we are happy to be home. Um, Ashley is still asleep. It is 12 o'clock. Chelsea is at uh, Kaylee's boyfriend's house with Kaylee. They, um, her boyfriend comes home tonight late, but they did a, his family did like a grocery delivery or whatever. And so Kaylee's going over to the house and taking the food inside and putting it in the fridge and, and putting it all away for them so that it's all ready for that when they get home tonight. And Chelsea just wanted to go with her. So that's where they're at. Abby's probably awake, but in bed. It takes her a long time to recover from um, doing abnormal activities like sitting in a car for five days. <laughs> so we're just gonna let her recover her surgery on her teeth. I don't know that we've even mentioned this. We got a call while we were still in Utah from um, her surgeon's office. Um, I had been pleading with them for a good solid week to put a rush order on her surgery. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do it until October. And they pushed it through, and it is in two days. And I'm so happy. I think we all sat and cried at my dad's house when we got that call. Abby was in near tears, Jason was in near tears, because it was just like one good answer. Um, I haven't really talked about it, but we have the results from the MRI. Um, everything's fine, and that's good news in that there's no injury, there's no damage, but it's bad news because we don't know what's causing her the pain. So I'm not gonna dive into, well I'm not, I don't, we're not doing anything right now. We don't know where to go next. Um, I have an appointment back with her pediatrician the day after her surgery, which I might actually now have to cancel. Um, we're working on um, some other venues of help for her just in general outside of pain you know help I don't want to do a pain management specialist which is what the spe the orthopedic surgeon suggested for us um, I want to find out what's causing the pain but for right now we're just focused on helping Abby and getting this surgery done to alleviate the pain in her jaw it was so bad at my dad's house that she couldn't chew a banana and that was my final plea to the doctor and to the nurse when I called the, the surgeon's office. I was like, she can't chew a banana. So it's kind of an update on Abby and kind of what her week is going to look like. We will go to her surgery together, Jason and I will, and then help her recover that day at home. And um, she says I can't film it and show you guys her reaction to all the meds and whatnot, but I may have to pull a mom card and go ahead and film it. So we'll just see how she reacts to me filming it. She'll be so doped up that she may not remember me actually filming it, but then I will have to let her see the video. So we'll just have to see. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film of it. I'll film the process. I just may not be able to show you the humorous response from the pain meds when she comes out of surgery. So Jason is here with me at the bank. Um, we are just cashing a check. I kind of like it when insurance is like, oh, you've overpaid. <laughs> Sends us a very nice, healthy check, and I'm gonna cash it and spend it on school clothes for the kids. It'll keep me in budget if I have it cash. Cash in hand. And yes, I could earn probably $30, not, not up to $30 back from using my Costco card, but it's easier for, or better for me to stay on budget. So I'm just gonna cash it. And then we're gonna go to Costco and wash this car, wash the outside of the car. Because it, the inside, if you watched yesterday's video, it is spotless. And also when I go to the beach now for the next couple weeks, I am going to put that mat out into the back and keep the sand off of my car and then I can just shake it out onto the road when we are done with the wagon. What else? What other updates can I give you guys? I think that's kind of it for now. Let's go to Costco and wash our car because we have no food. We actually did pretty good. We left a gallon of milk at home that we knew wouldn't expire by today. And so we've had milk, I had a protein drink. That's another update. I need to cleanse. If any of you know of a good cleanse that I could do after, like a detox 
from vacation because I did not I did not care what I ate when we were on our vacation because it was really difficult to have fresh food beyond being in the house that was like it just didn't happen we ate fast food every single day and that it's it's taking its toll on my body I can feel that I have gotten heavier and I hate that because I was getting lighter and that is so sad to me so I'm on a little detox right now trying to be good um let's not babble let's go get our car washed and then go to Costco and stock up and get our fridge back to healthier foods we need to get a ton of fun we need to get a ton of vegetables and fruits that are good for us berries and berries basically and then um see what else our day is yeah sunny day sunny day sunny days no clouds in the sky but again away feels like it's been a freaking decade sorry don't call me cause i'm gonna be on break sunny day sunny day baby. all the stress and doubt yeah not today feels like it's been a freaking decade sorry don't call me cause i'm gonna be on break got the tropicana fresh cause sushi on a platter Honey, it don't matter, shots Till I drop, drop Gonna be 24-7 Golden hour like a boss And they say, yo Guess you gotta do a couple Jason sulks away in Costco Cause we passed the s'mores I decided And he did not put them in the cart We have all these fruits and veggies More veggies yeah. than fruits And you're not gonna get coke, right? Oh, I show them what we got down there And we got some pillows for the older girls We realized how nasty theirs nasty were on this road trip Show them the, the thing we got down there I think that's so we ran into cheaper. someone just like a customer and she said that they only carry this like once a year and it's the lychee that we had in Hawaii on the big island it's and called, you squeeze the little end it's called dragon's eye or something like that. yeah we had it on tour at the okay farm so it was kind of fun you to find it here. Film up here to see what it looks like oh yeah I'll link it above oh. sorry I didn't I thought you were talking about something up there i was like what oh, are you talking well, about life was like new to youtube i knew how to do that oh there's this douchiness <laughs> all right i'll just show you as we load up the car go ahead don't we have those bags in here we take no i took them out oh, so wow. i got these shoes for chelsea for back to school i'm gonna have her try them on she just loves these little either pumas or adidas and they have like the mesh on them so she doesn't get too hot so i'll have her try those on i also got some socks for ashley for back to school She's kind of eking through in her size. We got pot stickers, ravioli, two milks to get us current on how often we go through milk. Um, potatoes for smashed potatoes. We got these um, a little freezer popsicles for Abby after her surgery. We got lettuce, apples. We got the pillows, bread, eggs, vitamin water, banana, and then they had a rebate on the mac and cheese. Again, that one's for Abby, both before and after surgery. Captain Crunch was on rebate, so we Cap got Cinnamon Toast, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Crunch was on rebate, so we got three of those. Then we got all of our fruits and veggies. We got the snap peas, peppers, blueberries, and the lychee, but they did not have my artichokes. So I'm gonna have to get them from the grocery store because I can't go another week without having like vegetables during the day, like my routine. So I just got off the phone with Children's Hospital and scheduled Abby's COVID test. Sorry, it's so dark in here. We're pretty hot if we don't keep the AC going. Um, so I've been on the hospital or on the phone with them, going through all of her pre-op, you know, what she can eat, what she can't eat, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to find a towel to wipe down the sweat on my face. I've been doing laundry and unloading Costco and. Ugh. Just trying to stay cool. Um, but anyway, we've got Abby, oh, Jace, scheduled her COVID test. Can you pause? Scheduled her COVID test for like 5.30 tonight. We have to go down to Bellevue. Okay. So make a little evening with her, go down and do that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Um, so we have to go do that tonight. She was like, oh, I'm sorry, it's so last minute. We should have scheduled you sooner. Um, and I was like, no, well, we can go today. So she's like, oh wow, thank you for being accommodating. And anyway, it was either that or 8.30 tonight. And I was like, no, I don't want to do it at 8.30 tonight. I want to relax. I'm trying to like dab away all the glisten. Okay, so we will go and do that later today. Surprisingly, Chelsea tried these shoes on. Too small. The kid is growing. She is growing so much these days. 
she's constantly having growing pains, so it doesn't surprise me. But I'm gonna get a few more things done so that we can now take her to get her COVID test. But I am doing better with eating. I've got all my veggies here, and I've got my water. So this is my second one, I think. So I'm doing pretty good. And I'm just editing and watching a show. So back in a second. I haven't seen you guys all day. Your friend got hurt, right? She fell doing parkour. Well, technically, she was supposed to land on her feet, but they didn't tell her to do that. So she landed kind of on her butt and kind of her back. They, like, so she had to go to the hospital, get x-rays. She's fine, just bruised, right? Yeah. All right, you're going to grab us. Are you coming with us? Yeah. You're going to stay here? Yeah. You can go back over there and hang out with her. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you have to have more than just sugar. Mm -hmm. You have, okay, why are you eating popsicle before a sandwich? No comment. I want that in the garbage. Okay? And then you both have laundry to take up. up. <laughs> Go. Ashley, take your laundry. Alright, we've had this car now for two and a half years. And <laughs> we're on the way to take Abby to get her COVID test. But we have heard dings and dings and dings and tons of dings in this car since we got it. And we never knew that if you were in the map, they would tell you like all these little alerts. Like, oh, you have to map? Is that what you did? And like right now, there's a little flagger for 1.3 miles. And then there's other things like crashes or construction zone or, anyway, we just haven't known that that's what the dings were. <laughs> so we've had this map, see, just did it again. We've had this map on the whole time we were traveling home so we could find out where bathrooms. Ashley was like, she's like, make it zoom out. So she would have it, have it zoomed out all the time so she could see when the, the gas stations were there and when there was bathrooms and when there was food. She was constantly like looking at this. So now we know our car even better. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. Abby has earned herself a Chick-fil-A frosted lemonade as kind of a pre-surgery like treat. Maybe you could convince Abby, she doesn't want me to film her. <laughs> She's right behind me. She's learned what seat to sit in. <laughs> um, maybe you could convince Grandpa to bring you a frosted lemonade one of the days this week. You'd have to spoon feed it to yourself. Grandpa did come over today. Um, he brought her a gallon of chocolate ice cream was it chocolate yeah. yeah and then he bought oh apple juice, apple juice and pudding and pudding yeah because she can have apple juice tomorrow morning no the morning of the surgery she can have liquids right up until 9 30 and so he brought her juice and then anyway got her kind of stocked up we got some more things at costco today that she can have as well and then we're just gonna play it by ear with what sounds good and what she can eat afterward. But she's probably gonna like the ideas of pudding and juices and <laughs> frozen. Oh, we've, Abby, we got you these like really like actual fruit popsicles. Okay. They're in the freezer. Maybe just avoid the citrusy ones first. They're probably okay because it's condensed into a little popsicle, but the other ones should be fine following behind the really pretty Tesla right in front of us. It looks nice and shiny. We all had um, sympathy shakes with her. I mean, we have uh, to like nice support her in this journey. So we just supported this way. Well, you know. yeah. Horrible lighting when I film this late at night. I am tired. Looks like daddy is a sucker for Ashley. He made her pancakes at 10 o'clock at night. Put most of those in the freezer for her to use throughout the week. Did you eat some already, Ashley? Yeah. Okay. Um, can't tell from all the fan sounds. It's hot in here. We have to get the house cooled down this week. 
we've gone in and out of the house too much today so it's not we let out too much cold air and I kind of got to get the fans going in the right direction oh, why this one's facing that way <sighs> but anyway I went to Target tonight with Abby she needed a mascara so we went to Target and I found this cute t-shirt it says um, treat her right mother earth um, and then Chelsea got a little, let me just pull it up, I can hold it up, the little skirt, skirt for church, that was on clearance for, oh the t-shirt was $5, oh I also got just a plain blue one um, as well, those ones are $5, her skirt was on clearance for ten fifty. and then you got a t-shirt, what does it say, love each other. Did you forget it? Yeah, I just forgot what it said. Um, so that was good finds. Um, we're starting to do back to school shopping. I browsed the school section. You also got the lunch um, Interesting thing. I looked at the lunch boxes. I saw a lunch box today. Um, I'll put a picture right here if I can remember to do so. But the whole box itself was an ice pack. And so you take your lunch out at the end of the day and you put the whole lunch box into the freezer and the whole inner lining freezes. <laughs> so the whole thing becomes cold. That's pretty cool, huh? Um, so we're, I'm, I looked at Target, kind of got an idea of what we needed to like get. She's the last one who is at the level of, you know, 20 glue, glue sticks and 24 Ticonderra whatever pencils. She's the last one at that stage, which is fantastic. The elder, older kids are like, they know what mechanical pencils and highlighters and pens that they want. That's not required for their classes. They know what kind of notebooks they organize well with. They're not required to do it a certain way. Um, so I don't. I just need to get the supplies, but it doesn't have to be a specific checklist from the school. Yeah, you won't find out till August. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. And, but I think we're gonna do back to school shopping a little bit different this year. Um, we're gonna go with Jason on his days off. And we're gonna do like two or three batch purchases and just buy it all at one time so we don't waste a ton of time. When they were younger, like all her age and younger and whatnot, and I was having to get a hundred pencils and 50 glue sticks and I'd have to like find them on like the best deals possible. And I, so I had to shop all the time at like Staples and the office stores and stuff to get the deal. I don't have to do that anymore. So I can just go in, get her stuff, it's easy. And then the kids are gonna just come with us, pick out the specific things that you want to make it easier and be done with it. So I don't have to keep doing it. And then back to school shopping for clothes will just be fun when we have time. Go in and get it done. But I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off from filming. I have one more video to edit and I'm caught up and I'm scheduled ahead, which is so fantastic. And so I'm gonna take tomorrow off and prep myself to get those videos done and the house kind of re-cleaned up, put back together after our trip. Um, and then I'm ready to do Abby and her surgery the next day. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. So stay tuned for that. That will be the next video we have is Abby's surgery. Um, we'll film as much of that as we can, obviously. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Just keep her in your thoughts and prayers and hope that all goes well with her surgery and we'll see you guys next time. Say goodnight. Night. You're hot from working out, huh? No, I've been cooking pancakes, doing the dishes. You chose to. I did, I know. Okay. okay. I'm, I showered actually. I know you have Thanks showered. Thanks for not noticing. No, you sh shut up, you're red <laughs> in the face. No, I am. You're hot. I am, I know, thank you. I'm, I'm saying I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.